Bird. We've been on this Anzac tour for roughly two and a half weeks. We've only got a few days here to go, um, but the duration of the tour was 21 days, so it's a pretty long tour. Uh, a true soldier fights, not because he hates what is in front of him, but because he loves what is behind him. According to George S. Patton, Jr., the soldier is the army. No army is better than its soldier. The soldier is also a citizen. In fact, the highest obligation and privilege of a citizen is that of bearing arms for one's country. Private Alan Hugh McMaster enlisted into the Australian Imperial Force on August 8, 1914, at the age of 23. But before he enlisted, Alan had to participate in a preparation camp. This trained Australians and prepared them in case Australia would go to war. The option to enlist in the war had only been open at the start of August, so by Alan enlisting on the 8th of August showed real courage. Alan died due to a bullet wound in his abdomen on May 26, 1915. He had only lasted 14 days from his landing on the Gallipoli Peninsula in the Turkish position called the chessboard. For Alan's courageous efforts in the war, he received a 1914 to 1915 star, a British Wood Medal and the Victory Medal. I am here on behalf of the McMaster family and it is on their behalf that I commemorate my grandfather's cousin and my third cousin. Thanks, Alan, for everything. You will never be forgotten. Now you may rest peacefully. Your legacy will live forevermore in our hearts. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down the sun and in the morning, we will remember them, lest we forget.